Three experiences happen when you pray. Three experiences happen when you pray. The first experience when you pray, God talks more to you. If you are a man who prays the Lord, God talks what more to you. If you are a man who prays what a lot, right? Because prayer is not a monologue. Prayer is a what? Is a dialogue. That means as I'm talking with God, God will talk back to me, right? If I meet our daddy now and I'm talking to him, sir, sir, if I'm talking to you now, sir, and I keep talking to you, say, sir, how is work? How has it been? How is business? You will be compelled to talk to me back one day, right? That is how God operates. If, if I keep praying to God and I'm asking God and I'm talking to God, one day God will start talking to me back. Because it's supposed to be a dialogue. We are not worshipping an idol. We are worshipping a God. When Jesus asked them, what do men say I am? He said, you, what do you say I am? Do you know what Peter said? Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of what? The living. He added living God. He didn't say the son of God. He said the son of what? The living. That means God is alive. The characteristics of someone who is alive is that the person talks. Right? If the person doesn't talk, the person is as good as dead. So they say God is a living God. That means God is an active God. God talks to us. So that's why Jesus said that is the Father that revealed it to you. God must be the one that must have told you this thing you just said. As you pray more, God talks to you much more. Some of us don't listen to God when He's talking to us. We are the only ones that are talking to God. God, give me car, give me this, give me husband, protect my family, keep my children. And God will be like, When will you when will you come down? Let me also talk to you. Let it not just be one direction that you are the only one bombarding God with your needs. Imagine if, see, you know God who has needs. Hallelujah. God has, God has a need. Bible says God is seeking for worshippers who are worshipping him in what? In truth. God too has a need that he wants you to meet. Just the way he too is meeting your own need. Right? God too has, <laughs> maybe that's not the best way to put it, but God too has something that he wants you to also meet. So God will tell you that, will you too, when will you, it's been long you dance to me, Eric. It's been long you dance to me. It's been long. It's been long you had time. You've been so busy. You've not had time with me lately. I'm missing you. I'm missing you. Can you give me one hour today? Can you give me one hour? Let's just be inside. Let's just pray. Let's just dance together. Sing to me and dance to me. God too has something. So when you pray, you find out that God talks to you more when you pray. Is that recorded? Bible said Daniel was praying for the deliverance of Israel. God now sent an angel. The angel came to him because he was praying. So God had to send an angel to talk to him. Another experience that happens when you pray, when you pray is that you are transformed. You are changed. You are changed. And the scripture for that is Luke chapter 9 verse 29. Luke chapter 9 verse 29. Just present it. There are things you do but that makes your prayer becomes kind, becomes more effective. But let's see Luke chapter 9 verse 29. And he was praying. Why he was praying? Why Jesus was praying? Something happened. The appearance of his face changed. It was not just his face that changed. Even his clothes that he was wearing. Bible say, and his clothes became what? As bright as a flash of lightning. But it happened when he was what? He was praying. So in prayers, during prayers, there is a change that can happen to you. Your moods can change. You were angry, you were depressed. Start praying or start worshipping. As you keep doing that, your mood, your appearance will change. That's why we find out that when you are battling with depression, you, if, you, if you keep praying, when you start praying, five minutes, it may not happen. Ten minutes. Continue for thirty minutes. You start seeing that something will happen to you. It's a law in prayer. It's a law. If you are oppressed, you are sorrowful, it will switch. Some God will remove that thing and put something else. So in prayers, there is what? You are what? You are changed. In prayers, you are changed. Hallelujah. That's the second thing that happen during prayer or during worship. And it's unfortunate that some of us know these laws and we don't do it. Hey, give God one hour. Just up, put your phone on flight mode. Not silence. Put it on flight mode. One hour will not kill you. Anything that you miss in one hour is not for you when you are praying. It's not for you. It's not meant for you. One hour. I've shown those scriptures again and again. Jesus was sorrowful. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, was sorrowful. The next thing, he went forward and started praying. 
he went forward and started praying because it's prayer that will remove that sorrow i was saying this year that even though you don't gain anything when you pray you lose something when you pray you can lose anger you can lose unforgiveness you can lose sorrow you can lose depression when you are praying something can leave your body even if you don't get anything but you must surely get something hallelujah the last thing that happens when you pray your prayers are answered instantly your prayers are answered your prayers are answered the timeline between answering and you receiving it might take long but your prayers get answered when you pray but i'm going just one scripture for that and that will be it and the scripture we're going to bring is in john chapter 16 verse 23 can we all read it together want to go in that day you will no longer ask me anything i tell you the truth my father will give you whatever you ask in my name my father will give you whatever you know they were asking jesus things jesus jesus and say you guys are now sons you too you have access to the father so you don't even need a pastor to reach your father you say you guys can now ask what the father directly you don't need to ask me said whatever whatsoever you ask it will be done unto you when you pray you have the opportunity of receiving things hallelujah